Okay. In this video, I'm just going to talk about the basic supplies and um, these supplies. A lot of them I've had um, almost the entire 20 years I've been doing this system because I just bought a lot at the beginning. Um, for my file system, I had just bought these generic um, filing ones that clip off, but I've noticed a lot of times they become unclipped, so I am transferring everything over to this weather tight box. They actually have two locks on the side that you can um, lock tight and if it tips over it does not dump out. As far as file folders, if you're going to do the color coding system, let me show you to do all green folders or blue or whatever, I have purchased Pendaflex hanging files. Um, Office Max has hanging files. You can pretty much get any one. The only thing you have to be aware of is sometimes going across different brands are different colors, but Office Max and Pendaflex have the exact same colors. Um, file folders, same thing. Sometimes they'll um, change. I use Smead. I can get them in bulk um, and easily order them. So that's what I use for my folders and my hanging file folders. As far as other supplies, I also get paper in, the, um, in all four colors. The red, blue, yellow, and green. I do this for printing out reports so I know which family line it is. And then if I have a folder and I've gone through everything, I'll print out the family group sheet on that color, knowing that that's finalized, that I have everything synced between Roots Magic, Ancestry, Family Search, and that is a final one. Um, of course, if there's any changes, then I just kind of mark on that and I know I'll have to reprint it at a time. If a folder does not contain a green sheet, it means I have not finalized that family's research. Um, I also have green highlighters for when I'm just going through documents. Um, if I print out a family group sheet and I'm making changes, I do everything in that color so I can easily tell. Fine point pens um, to make notes. Green post-its I use within the folders to separate out um, groups or just to make notes on different documents, but green tells me I'm working in that line. And so whenever I get ready to do a line, I just pull out that color items. I actually have a desk drawer filled with all the different colors and I just pull out what I need. And then finally, I use um, labels with stripes at the top. That is for main lines I do my labels for. And then I have these colored dots um, and those are going to be for um, children of my direct lines. So those are all of the supplies I need. And then I also just have a carry box that when I'm working on a specific set of files, um, I need to change locations in my house or I'm going on a trip, I just throw whatever files I need in there and then whatever files I collect get on there. So that has actually come in handy. So those are the basic supplies needed to set up this color coding system.